I just got a 30 watt Mopa fiber laser and I cannot wait to get it unboxed and ready to run. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. Omtech just sent me out their 30 watt Mopa fiber laser. This is not a review unit. It's actually currently on loan to me. And since I've never used a fiber laser before, this is gonna be an amazing learning opportunity. The laser showed up in a pretty large crate and it weighed in at 110 pounds according to the shipping weight. I actually had to move it from my front steps to my garage and it was pretty heavy, but I was able to do it myself. The Omtech motto is beaming with possibilities. And it was really cool to see this on the side of the crate because it just made me that much more excited to get this thing unpacked. To get the crate open, I had to pry open these little tabs and get them straight as possible so they slid through the slot. There was a ton of these little tabs, so I decided I was gonna start at the top of the crate. Once I got all the tabs along the top pulled up and flattened, I was able to slide the top of the box off. That's when I noticed this thing is packed full of packing material. It was pretty solid in there. I started unpacking all of that packing material and I got my first glimpse of the fiber laser. At this point, I'm getting very excited because I just want to use this thing. So excited that I decided to just rip the crate apart. I didn't want to go after any more of those tabs. I just started pulling and the whole crate kind of came apart as I pulled it. This thing is very well put together, but I was very determined. <laughs> Once I got that crate ripped apart, it exposed yet even more packing material, but it actually exposed how well the laser itself was wrapped inside of this packing material inside of that crate. They did a really good job wrapping this thing up. It did not look like this thing was gonna move at all. It was very secure inside that crate. Once I cut all of that plastic wrap off, it exposed even more packing material. I tell you what, this thing was packed exceptionally well and I can definitely appreciate this because it has to be shipped across the country and across the world for that matter. But I was definitely ready to be done unpacking. Once I got rid of all that plastic wrap and packing, and all that stuff, I started to see how cool this machine actually looks. I love the red color. I'm historically a blue guy. Blue is my favorite color, but I love the look of this machine. Something about it just looks fancy and expensive. I've seen pictures and I've seen videos of these fiber machines, but seeing it there in front of me on the crate, I could not wait to get this thing fired up. I was just crazy excited and I haven't even learned how to use it yet. <laughs> At this point, I was able to lift it up onto the bench where it will live for now. And it was bigger than I thought it would be. This should probably be a two person job if you're gonna lift it up. It wasn't crazy heavy. It just was kind of awkward because you have the whole control box thing and the, the laser and all that stuff together. But I was able to get it up on the desk. It was actually, like I said, bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Next, I wanted to check out the accessories that came with it. And they were wrapped very well in that shrink wrap material as well. But I was able to get it out and cut all that shrink wrap off. And it's time to check out what was inside. Inside, it came with a USB cable to plug the back of the tower into the computer. Uh, it came with a tape measure. I am not sure why, but it's just a generic tape measure, nothing special about it that I can notice. Uh, it came with some bars for aligning things on the plate of the laser and bolts to hold them down, along with some extra bolts as well, which was really cool. Uh, it came with this little handle, which I'm not sure what to do with yet. Uh, I, I can't find pictures about it and I don't see it online in their pictures. It's definitely not in the manual to install it. So I'll figure that out. Uh, it came with a power plug here and I believe this is for a rotary access. So you can plug a rotary into the back of the machine. It came with the keys to turn it on and a USB drive. Underneath the top, it came with the manual of the machine a foot pedal, uh, which is cool because you can repeat jobs from what I understand just using the foot pedal. And it came with a power cable with a locking end. So you push it in and screw it in. And safety glasses that actually have a laser rating on them, which I was pleasantly surprised about. I have several pair and this one actually looks like a decent pair of safety glasses. Most of the time you just get that generic set uh, that, that I don't really trust, but this one actually has an OD rating on them, which is pretty cool. Now it's time to get this thing built and ready to go. And I started with the knob on the top that allows the laser head to go up and down the whole kind of gantry area. You start by taking the bolt and the washers off of the top, pushing the knob down on there, and then taking this little lock pin and putting it down between both of them. 
and then just screw the screw and the washers back down on top of it. I did that with the included Allen wrench. It was super easy and only took maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Next, I plugged the power cable into the back of the tower, making sure the little pins were aligned as I pushed it in and then screwing down that locking washer that kind of screws it to the back of the machine so it can't come out. And I plugged the USB cable in as well. Something that I forgot to mention that it came with was this metric ruler. Uh, it was very clearly marked. It looked like it was pretty decently made and I'm assuming they included it so I could get the focus of the machine and measure heights, that kind of thing. But I guess we're gonna find out. At this point, it was time to get that bubble wrap off of the Galvo head and see what it looks like for the first time completely unwrapped. It is so cool to have one of these in the shop. I have been drooling over fiber lasers for so long and to have one in front of me in the shop it's just kind of overwhelming because at this point I realize I have no idea how to use this thing. I know it's a laser and I know I'm going to learn and Omtech is giving me the opportunity to share that learning with you guys on the channel. But it, at, I was just like overwhelmed and I'm sure I share those feelings with everyone out there who's ever got a machine that they got. It's in front of them and they have no idea how to use it. Now it's time to take the keys that came with it put them in the lock here or the ignition we'll call it and i'm almost ready to fire this thing up for the first time so here it is in all its glory it's the omtech 30 watt mopa fiber laser now i just need to learn how to make this thing work i do know that i'm going to be using lightburn to run this the lightburn software is awesome i use it to run all of my lasers everything from the diode to the CO2s and now to the fiber laser. It's just awesome that I can use one program, I can learn one program and teach one program and it'll work on all three of my laser types. Also, you can actually use a different window, a different session of Lightburn at the same time on your different lasers, which is awesome. That means I can run jobs on my CO2 lasers at the same time I'm running jobs on my diode or on this fiber laser as well. So that's really cool. It's a huge benefit and shout out to Joe from Lightburn. You are the man. He's helping me through this process. I really appreciate it. Joe, you're awesome. Shout out to the Makers on Tap podcast. Wish that was still around. You guys got to bring it back. With all that being said, here's a sneak peek of a little anodized business card that I did with the Edge of Tech logo. It kind of shows you what's to come. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up in Lightburn and get it ready to actually burn your first project. I just wanted to shout out Omtech one more time for shooting me over this loner laser to let me learn and share videos with you guys because without them, this thing wouldn't be sitting here. I'm gonna work on some really cool projects and you better bet, those are coming too, because I want to show you how to make some money with a fiber laser because there's a lot of money to be made with these things. And if you want to make money with CO2 or diode lasers, check this out. This will help.